Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Probably a little bit difficult to make look good, but we'll soon find out if we can. I'm just a bit shaky, folks. Sorry about that. So if you can still see what I'm doing, hopefully. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Magenta. We're going to use this with magenta. Let's see what we have. We have here, I think it's made out of balsa wood. It's a cat, some kind of cat or feline, whatever you want to call it. There's the ass. <laughs> okay, we're photocopying the cat at the front. So I call this a copy cat, you know, because I'm photocopying it and it's a cat. So it's a bit of a joke, an old joke copycat okay let's see if this copycat looks any good okay out it comes yeah that looks interesting you can see it at least you can see the bit of the magenta on the front there got it turned on an angle I didn't want it on an angle but I think we're going to leave it like that three hundred I don't think that's I think that's too big. We're just going to switch off the magenta. I don't know how this is going to look. I'm going to just take that away. And we're just going to put that on the glass. Okay, out it comes. Not out it comes, what am I saying? Okay, out it comes. Whoa, we've made it huge. It's too big. It's blowing it right off the page. too big gonna make it a lot smaller That's a nice uh, fit. I'm wondering if we're going to make it into a movement piece, make it more interesting. I don't know. Going to see what we can do with it. So we're just going to take this one away. It looks too boring to be a still piece. So I, I want to make it into something more interesting than just 
are still. So we've got this one and we're going to move it around. So we're just going to get that on the edge. Now we're just going to switch over the copied paper. See what we do. Okay, how it comes. Yeah, that looks interesting. Our cat, our copy cat. Uh, still doesn't look like what I want it to be. So we just got a bit of dust on a little bit of lint on the glass. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'm going to just do that again. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks kind of interesting. Uh, could do a better job of it once again. So we're just going to do that again. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks more interesting. Uh, wondering if we could use that one as a master copy. It looks quite nice. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take that away, put it down over there, and we're going to use this. This is going to be our next master copy for this. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks a lot more interesting going to make this I think the center of our job so I wonder if we're going to enlarge it See what we can do color wise, or if we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to enlarge it. So, we're going to enlarge this section out of here. So, hopefully, it'll look good, folks. Okay, out it comes. Not out it comes. Why am I saying that? I've been saying that before it even comes out of the fucking machine. I wonder why I did say that. Sometimes I do say stupid things that don't make sense, folks. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh still think we could enlarge it a bit bigger on the horizontal uh, so the horizontal could go maybe 200 sorry about the shaking folks it's not easy holding this phone while you're doing this Okay, out of, now it says out it comes. Now it's coming out of the copier, not before. Now that looks like we've 
uh, wondering if we've enlarged it too big. Uh, I'm wondering where the centre of this job really is going to be. Wondering if it's going to be there. Um, let's see, it's going to be there. So I'm wondering if we're going to enlarge this less or we're just going to run it off like this. It's hard to know if it's going to look any good until I've actually arranged it. Sometimes it's like that. I just can't predict how it's going to look aesthetically uh, for my intents because I'm the artist and the producer of these uh, videos. So I, I really want to like what I do, my work, as much as I can instead of producing stuff that to me looks like a piece of shit, even if other people might actually appreciate it. Uh, I try to make things that I like, that I enjoy looking at. But I don't always do that and sometimes it might be attractive to the person who... <sighs> who isn't the artist, you know, the, the viewer. I should put the viewer first. So, you know, I mean, I like to... It's always good to make stuff that you like because it's important, but if it doesn't always turn out that way, it's good to be able to see it from another person's angle so that maybe indeed your, your art isn't lost, that what you've done isn't a waste of time or money or materials, that maybe someone out there actually likes what you don't like so as an artist you know even though you try you strive to make stuff that you like but if it doesn't always work that way there's hope that maybe the audience someone in the audience would like it so you've got to think of it that way as well think of a positive to it or try to you know this is not lining up very well this one just nudged itself out of place uh, anyway, well, let's see. Having trouble with this one, folks. Um, anyway, that looks okay. I think this copycat demo has come up reasonably well. I think it's all right. I think now we can call it quits.